How's it going? Before this video starts, I'm going to explain what an iceberg video is for people who are unfamiliar with these type of videos. A iceberg is a tier list that begins with the most common trivia and theories at the top to the least common at the bottom. Now since I got that out of the way, let's roll the intro. Fusion Fall is an MMORPG that takes place in the future. The game is free to play until a player reaches level 4. The free version only allows the player to create 2 characters and only attain 4 nanos. There is also an in-game chat and the only area that's not restricted is the future area. A subscription is needed in order to have full access to the Fusion Fall world. Buying a subscription also includes access to all 36 nanos, more available missions, the ability to create 4 characters instead of 2, and access to in-game communication. The subscription plans were $5.95 a month, $14.95 for 3 months, $49.95 for a whole year, a family plan for $9.95 a month. And there is also something called the Victory Pack where you can get a guidebook, character outfits, and a Fusion Fall t-shirt. Fusion Fall began thousands of years in the past with Planet Fusion, a world conquering alien entity that absorbs the planets of its victims. The planet is controlled by Lord Fuse. Fuse releases probes in order to gather information on the Earth. Then he immediately starts his attack. His minions quickly adapt to the Earth's environment and they begin to terraform the planet with the help of Terrafusers. The residents of Cartoon Network Universe, both heroes and villains, join forces in order to defeat the invaders. Lord Fuse is the ruler of Planet Fusion and the main antagonist of the game. Fuse is responsible for the destruction of the world and for creating the fusion. Most of Lord Fuse's history is unknown, but it is stated that he comes from another galaxy and that he existed for thousands of years and that he has led thousands of invasions to different worlds. Planet Fusion is an enormous planet ruled by Lord Fuse that has been traveling through space for ages, breaking down planets and absorbing them. Terra fusions are created by Lord Fuse in order to create fusion life and to make the affection of fusion matter grow even worse. Terra fusions cannot be destroyed or moved. They were created by Planet Fusion to help invade other planets. Dexter's laboratory is about a boy genius named Dexter with a secret laboratory. His experiments are constantly interrupted by his older sister Dee Dee, who always finds a way to enter his secret lab. In Fusion Fall, Dexter is the founder of Dex Labs. Dexter also plays an important role in the game. He serves as a guide to the heroes and also provides useful inventions like the slider and the warp portals. The Powerpuff Girls are three superpowered little girls who try to save the world before their bedtime. The Powerpuff Girls protect Townsville from bad guys and villains like Mojo Jojo, Fuzzy Lumpkins, the Gang Green Gang, and others. In Fusion Fall, the Powerpuff Girls are now in middle school and many areas in the game are based on places in the show like Pokey Oaks, Townsville Center, Townsville Park, City Hall, Mojo's Volcano, and more Bucks Tower. Tsunami is an action program block that was originally hosted by Motar from Space Ghost Coast to Coast for the first two years until he was replaced by the original Tom. In Fusion Fall, Tom is at the city station where he was supposed to make repairs to the area. 
Ed and Annette revolves around three friends who are named Ed. The Eds create scams in order to make money off the other kids that live in the cul-de-sac, but normally the scams usually fail. In Fusion Fall, Double D serves as a guide for the player. Him and Eddie can be found in Peach Creek comments. The Kanker sisters also make an appearance in the game. Lee and Marie are in the parking flush, and May is at Camp Kidney. Curse the Cowardly Dog is about a timid little dog named Courage who tries to protect his owners, Eustace and Muriel Bag, from monsters, ghosts, and aliens. In Fusion Fall, Courage can be found in nowhere. Billy and Manny are two kids who want to bet against the Grim Reaper. Now Grim is forced to be their best friends for all eternity. In Fusion Fall, Mandy can be found in Devil's Bluff. Billy can be found at his house in Innsville. As for Grim, while in the middle of the Fusion invasion, Grim was able to escape from Billy and Mandy and take a vacation to Orchard Bay. Samurai Jack is about a samurai who's sent to the future where his enemy, Aku, has taken over the world by submerging the world into misery and darkness. Jack tries to find a way to return to the past in order to stop all this from happening. In Fusion Fall, Samurai Jack was the first to have a fusion. This happened when the fusion spawn stole one of his sandals. Jack also set aside his mission to return to his timeline in order to help protect Earth from Lord Fuse. Kids Next Door revolves around a group of kids who uses code names and are part of an organization called Kids Next Door, or KND for short. In Fusion Fall, there are Kids Next Door operatives that can be found in all four regions of the game. Magus SLR is about a damaged robot sent from the future. A guy named Coop finds Magus in the junkyard and fixes it up and attaches his car to it. Together with his best friend Jamie and Kiva, a soldier from the future who's sent to retreat the robot, Coop must defend the robot from being taken by the wrong hands. In Fusion Fall, Coop is located in Ghost Junkyard. As for Magus, he's covered in fusion matter that prevents him from fighting. Foster's home for imaginary friends is a world where imaginary friends children think of are brought to life. When a child gets older, they usually outgrow their imaginary friends. Foster's home for imaginary friends exists to give these imaginary friends a place to live, hopefully one day giving them a home with children who cannot make imaginary friends of their own. In Fusion Fall, Foster's home for imaginary friends include eight characters, Blue, Mac, Will, Coco, Eduardo, Frankie, Mr. Harriman, and cheese. All over the world, Coco's eggs have been laid to help players by providing them temporary power-ups, such as a running boost and an immunity to poison. The life and times of Juniper Lee centers around the life of a preteen girl named Juniper Lee who lives in Orchard Bay. The city is a hub for magical activity and is filled with various demons, both good and evil. The magic and human worlds have been separated by a magical barrier, preventing ordinary humans from seeing any magical related events or creatures related to them. June has recently been made a new Test 1Z, which gives her the responsibility of maintaining the balance between the human and magical worlds. June does make an appearance in Fusion Fall. Orchard Bay City is also an explorable area in the game. Johnny Test is about the adventures of an 11 year old boy and his talking dog. Most of the story involves creating trouble and getting into unusual situations using the latest inventions built by his genius twin sisters. In Fusion Fall, both Johnny and Dookie can be found in the nuclear plant. Ben 10 is about a boy who acquires a powerful alien device known as the Omnitrix. The device allows Ben to change into different aliens. In Fusion Fall, Ben helps to fight against the fusion spawns at the Battle of the Tech Square. Plumbers and sack agents can also be found all throughout the different areas of the game. Chowder is about a young boy named Chowder who serves as an apprentice to a chef named Mondal who owns a catering company in Marzipan City. A common element of the show is that the characters are named after food. In Fusion Fall, Chowder can be seen in the cul-de-sac running his own stand. Adventure Time is about a boy named Finn that goes on adventure with his dog named Jake. They mostly fight evil and help the people in need. Finn is located in Orchard Bay and can also be found in the Ice King's basement. Generator Rex is about a teenage boy who can grow giant weapons from his hands. Rex along with Agent Six and Bobo fights these creatures called the Evos. Rex and Bobo can be found in Townsville Park. Fusion spawns are the core lore of Fusion's army. All of the monsters are originally fusion spawns that have adapted to the environment. With the exception of the fusions, since fusions are the creation of fusion matter and certain character items, fusions are evil versions of Cartoon Network characters that were created by Lord Fuse. They're created by taking items that are special to characters they are based on and combining the items with fusion matter. For example, Fusion Samurai Jet was created by Jet Stolen Sandal. Fusions have green skin and red eyes. Some fusions even possess specific items they use for combat or have weird body mutations. Fusion Professor Utonium has tentacles on his back. Fusion number 5 has two pop gun pistols. Fusion number 2 uses a flapper to hover off the ground and has a reverse 2 on his helmet. Fusion Princess flies with a jetpack. 
Fusion Flapjack has a big anchor. Fusion Ace doesn't wear sunglasses. Fusion number one wears a gas mask. Fusion number three has claws coming out her sleeves. Fusion Fuzzy and Fusion Billy can climb walls. Fusion Mojo Jojo uses a ray gun. Fusion Will has cybernetic implants on his body. Fusion Blue and Fusion Cheese have jagged mouths. Fusion Didi is missing stockings. Fusion Mr. Hairman has his monocle on the opposite side. Fusion Frankie has Mojo Jojo's symbol on her shirt. Fusion Rex has a tiny smack hand. And Fusion Gunter has a brain coming out of his head. Nanos are small miniature versions of Cartoon Network characters that are designed to help the player throughout the game. The Nanos were created by Dexter and Mandark. They developed the Nanos by harnessing the essence of Planet Fusion, its monsters, and fusion matter. Each Nano has three powers, one of which the player must select when a Nano is created. Here's an example. The number two Nano can make a player run faster, while the Mandark Nano can make a player jump higher. There are 36 Nanos in total. Nanos come in three different types, Adaption, Blastings, and Cosmic. Nanos can give additional damage to enemies depending on the type. On the other hand, if a player sends out a Nano with the type that's weak against the opponent's type, the Nano will deal less damage. Every Nano has a Stamina Bar. Stamina can be regained by giving Nano Potions to Nanos, or putting them up to rest. If a Nano has a passive power, its Stamina will drain at a faster rate. A Nano with low Stamina will become visibly tired, and if a Nano runs out of Stamina, the pitcher will sink and the player must wait for it to recover a minimum amount of Stamina before it can be used again. According to Computerist, in order for a person to create a Nano, three things are needed. A large amount of fusion matter, a personal item from the character the Nanos are based on, and an imagination in order to purify the fusion matter. Fusion Fall was originally developed by Grigan Entertainment. Grigan is a Korean game developing company. They developed their first game in 2002 called Narcillion, Levian, Another Story. They also created an MMORPG game called Seal Online that released in Korea in 2003 and North America in 2007. With the help of Grigan Entertainment, Cartoon Network created the first AAA browser based MMORPG game for kids. After Grigar Entertainment went bankrupt, Cartoon Network had to maintain and update the game themselves, creating content in a MMO. The new updates angered a lot of players. Cartoon Network decided to make Fusion Fall free to play and were to gain players in 2010. When Cartoon Network made Fusion Fall free, the game did start to pick up more traction. This was until Cartoon Network made a big update that angered a lot of its players. The players complained to Cartoon Network that the new update made Fusion Fall feel like an entirely new game. Eventually people stopped playing Fusion Fall, and on August 23rd, 2013, Cartoon Network announced that Fusion Fall was closing. On March 25th in 2013, five months before the original game shut down, Cartoon Network released a new Fusion Fall game called Fusion Fall Heroes on Cartoon Network.com. Fusion Fall Heroes was a free to play game. Instead of players creating their very own character, they have to select the character that's given to them to use in battle. There are 11 main heroes in this game with six different variations, which gives them different stats and special perks. On February 6th in 2015, a Fusion Fall fan game was being developed. The game was called Fusion Fall Legacy. The Fusion Fall Legacy team announced that there would be a demo available on November 23rd. The game was being made in the newer version of the Unity game engine. An official forum for Fusion Fall Legacy opened on March 6th. In a blog post, they showed their plans about adding new NPCs, new area locations, nanos, and other new features to the game. In late December, the Fusion Fall Legacy team announced the development of Fusion Fall Retro. Fusion Fall Retro will take the place of Fusion Fall Legacy. Fusion Fall Retro was the unofficial revival of Cartoon Network's MMORPG game, Fusion Fall. The fan game was supported for four years by a team of devoted fans. Retro was a modified version of the original game, with new custom content added. On April 16, 2020, Fusion Fall Retro had to shut down after receiving the DMCA takedown request from Cartoon Network. The Fusion Fall Universe Twitter account was changed to the Universe Team account. They tweeted the news about the DMCA takedown request and thanked the Fusion Fall community for their support. Open Fusion is an unofficial fan-made version of Fusion Fall. The project was started by a member of the Fusion Fall community. Many people from the Fusion Fall universe community have contributed to the Open Fusion's development, including members from the Fusion Fall universe team. Fusion Fall hosts certain events during the holidays. During these events, certain NPCs, items, missions, and even enemies are available for a limited time. 
There are also certain aesthetic changes implemented into the game. In Fusion Fall Retro, Dracula and Fred Fred Burger were featured as seasonal NPCs. At the gazebo, located by the border of Pokio South, the sky of the entire map was turned to nighttime, which Fred Fred Burger claimed that he was responsible for. Special pumpkin eggs containing event items could be purchased from Dracula, and hollow suits were changed to a green skeletal design for the event. Birthday Bash was an event celebrating Fusion Fall's first anniversary. The party was located on the border of Pokio's North and Pokio South, where the giant cake stood. The Valentine's Day event unlocks the Blood Nest Spat mission, the Infestation Situation mission, the Johnny V. Good mission, the All Hail the Queen mission, and the Pest Control mission. Knismas is a holiday in the Chowder universe. Schnitzel, Chowder, and Sour Ron were featured as seasonal NPCs at the gazebo located on the border of Pokio South and Pokio North. With this event, there were also special missions that were included, like the Knismas Capper missions and Sminger Bread Scrooge. In the Thanksgiving event, a two-part mission called A Thanksgiving Delicacy is available. At Camp Kidney, we're introduced to Agent McCracken, Agent Warburton, and Agent Tartakovsky. These names are reference to Craig McCracken, the creator of Powerpuff Girls and Foster Song for Imaginary Friends, Tom Warburton, the creator of Codename Kids Next Door, and Gandy Tarvakoski, the creator of Dester's Lab and Samurai Jack. In Townsville Park, there's a statue of Miss Bellum. Princess Morbox is locked up in one of Ice King's dungeons. At the comic book shop in Pokio South, you can see the Powerpuff Girls and some of the comic books on display. The Urban Rangers from Edda and Nettie are NPC groups in several areas in the suburbs. In Goat's Junkyard, there's a shopkeeper named Agent Arnucci. The shopkeeper is named after Danny Arnucci, the creator of Edda and Nettie. The mutant eggplants and chickens from outer space from Curse of Cowley Dog can be found underground or downtown. The magical witch granny tree from Curse of Cowley Dog can be found at Mount Blackhead. The remains of Randy, the giant robot from Curse of Cowley Dog, can be seen at North Cape Onata. Evil Kong Carney's Weapon Depot can be seen in the suburbs and downtown. The fountain outside of Foster's house has a statue of Duchess, and the scribble spawns are based on the scribble of imaginary friends. In Innsville, there is a large building by the name of Touch One Zek Inc. June is now located in nowhere, which means she found a way to escape the charm that prevents the Touch One Zek from leaving Orchard Bay. There are a couple of items that reference the secret Saturdays like the cryptic backpack, the secret scientist hoverboard, and the Zack skate shirt. There are shops in Eternal Vistas and Habitat Homes called Bone Boneless Chicken Wings. Boneless Chicken is the cousin of Cow and Chicken. A statue of Super Cow can also be found in Mount Neverest. Harada Bridge Records is owned by Kaz from Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi. Spencer Spider Monkey, a monkey minion at Camp Kidney, mentions he is the cousin of Jake Spider Monkey. Also, there's a statue of Principal Pixie Frog in the Affected Zone school entrance. As for items, you can attain the bobblehead of Golly Gopher from the TV show Out of Jimmy's Head. You can also get Duncan's wings and armor from the movie Fire Breather, as well as Black Cat's top hat from Villainous. Enid's witch hat from OKK OK or Lesbian Heroes, Wirt and Greg's hat from Over the Garden Wall, and Ice Queen's tiara from Adventure Time. There's also a fast food chain called Burger Frenzy. This is a reference to the Kids Next Door episode, Operation Fast Food. Fusion Fall Worlds Collide is a manga written by Matthew Schwartz, the content designer of Fusion Fall, and George Christie, the creator of Megas SLR. Fusion Fall Worlds Collide was passed out during Comic Con in 2007. The manga serves as a prequel to the Fusion Fall game. Before the arrival of Planet Fusion, Buttercup had a battle with Mojo Jojo over the ocean. This battle led to Buttercup being knocked into the sea and disappearing without a trace. Feeling a surprising amount of guilt over the incident, Mojo sends his servants to look for her, but Buttercup couldn't be found. Later on, Buttercup was found by Ace, and she became part of his rock band and his girlfriend. These events led up to Buttercup taking up a new name, Belladonna. Cartoon Network's biggest game ever, Fusion Fall. The time is now. The hero is you. Play it now, only on FusionFall.com. Green everyone, 10 and up.